Hi, my name is Brandon, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this. Now, I hope you thought that was cool because I actually, to be honest with you, haven't shot that video yet. So, whoa, 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 hold it right there, Brandon. When you were making the video, sure, that sounded like a good idea, but when I was editing, I didn't quite like how the whole process turned out. So that's why I'm cutting in before I continue on the video. So it is the next day, and before you say anything, I know I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday, but consistency is key, right? <laughs> before we begin, here's an important message from past Brandon. The reason I am making this video is because I've actually been inspired by a lot of Daniel Schiffer's work lately, and not only that, it's just that I want to challenge myself to see if I could make a commercial. Now, I want to make this clear that this is not an endorsement video. I am not getting paid for this. This is just a mock commercial. All right, back to the video. Cut to the future and I actually finish editing. I do have some shots that I didn't use and I wanna go over that with you guys, but let's go over the actual final video and why I chose what I did and also how I filmed them. Let's get started with the first part, the establishing Establishly. The establishing shot. Now, what I did here, if you guys look at the video, I do a pan towards the can, but also there's kind of this smoky effect and water on it. The reason why I have water on it, and this took many times because as you can see, just right there, it drips at the bottom of the can, and that was just ooh, so perfect for me. So I kept that in there. But the reason why I had the water on it was to give it that cool effect, like it's cold, came straight out of the cooler to grab it, and ready to drink. Now, some of you may be wondering, how did I get that smoky effect on my video? And here's the answer. It's actually royalty-free stock footage I found here on YouTube from the channel, I believe, All Design Creative. They have lots of cool green screen effects that you can use as long as you credit them. And fortunately, it fit my needs. So shout out to All Design Creative. So the secret to panning the way I did without any sort of rig, I did this all handheld, is this. Let me grab it. This. This is a camera strap. What I did, so pretend that my microphone is a camera. What I did was I held my camera like this and you want to stretch it all the way out. You can use a cloth or a paper towel, put it down, and you move with it like this. But what helps a lot is the paper towel. The reason you're holding it out like this is just to stabilize it. The paper towel or the cloth is to slide it smoothly, just so you don't get that jitteriness when you're running against a smooth surface with your camera. Alrighty, so next up, how did I get the water on my can? Did I put my can in the freezer? Did I put it in a cooler? Did I put it in a refrigerator? Da 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 da! A spray bottle! Oh my gosh, that was probably not a good thing to do. I <laughs> so the spray bottle, you just have to spray multiple times and keep trying until you get that effect that you want. It is going to be messy, so make sure you have paper towels around to soak up the water. Also, I wanted to add in, if you didn't want to go for the wet, drippy look, what you could do is just have the can in your fridge grab it by the uh, the head so you don't get your fingerprints on there and then you have that condensation look like it's just fresh out of the fridge. Next shot, pouring into the glass drink. Now, what I did here was pretty simple as y'all see. I did one with a close up and one further away. Now, I made a mistake that you guys can learn from is when I did the shot of it far away and you can see the can pouring in, I actually did that after the close-up of pouring the drink in. So it kind of gave me a harder time when I was editing, but as long as you know what you're doing or it doesn't look too obvious, uh, cause what I did after was I wiped inside the cup from the residue of the drink that I poured in previously. That's what you can do, but you should do the other step first where you pour it in and then you get the close-up. Or you just dump it all out and then get new ice because if you want to grab detail of the ice, you may want to do that. 
Also, at the same time, I wanted to show viewers what color this drink was because I actually didn't know what it, whether it was blue or red or clear. And so we were able to see that in the video. Now on filming the part where I had to pick up the can, I actually didn't pick it up. What I was planning to do with that shot was at the very end, I'd slam the drink down and then I moved my hand and then it would give you like, oh, it's so refreshing or satisfying. But it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to when I was editing it. So I was like, what can I do to kind of play with this? And what I did was I reversed the clip and it turned out with my favor because it has a different look because it goes out of focus right as you pull out the can to transition the text. And that's what I love about this creative process is you can always tweak different things and new ideas come in your head as you edit. So you just have to shoot all that you can when it comes to this type of stuff. And as for the colors, you kind of want to keep it around the same realm. Now I'm not saying you should limit colors to when it comes to stuff like this, but in our case, our background, our can, it doesn't have that much to match. So when it comes with the text, don't do anything too flashy or just doesn't fit at all like yellow, green, brown. I stuck with white, red, and blue because that's what the can has on it and that's what our backgrounds are. Next up, the super hard cut to the twisting, grabbing, catching shot. Ideally, what I imagined was I was gonna throw it up and I'd have the words pop up of what this drink would be described as but that didn't really work because I didn't have enough frames and I didn't really throw it high enough. And surprisingly enough, I actually really liked the shot. I mean, it took me multiple tries and I was afraid of ruining the can completely. But when I was able to catch it like the way I did and have the logo show, that was super satisfying. But at the same time, maybe you guys, if you ever do something similar, you could try what I was thinking, where if you are confident enough to catch it or not have it ruin your workspace. If I had a bigger space, I probably would have tried it. I wanted to throw the can up and have it spin, but obviously we got a different clip, but I still like how it turned out. Now, keep in mind for these shots that I did that I wanted to have a little bit of more wiggle room to play with, especially the throwing part you want to add more frames per second. You don't want to shoot in 24p since you can't really slow down 24p. I mean, you can, but it won't look as good. Let's go over the shots that I didn't use and why I didn't use them. First one is a pan to the can, like at a diagonal way. I wanted that to be the establishing shot, but I just couldn't find a way to integrate it with the other shots I had. Another one I had was I wanted to get the sound effect, which was like to drink, but it didn't look that great. You only have one chance to do it right because I only have one of the cans and it just wasn't going the way I wanted. As you can see, my thumb was on there for too long. The pop, everything, it just didn't look smooth to me. So I just left it out. As for the sound effects, you can record them yourself or use an online resource. In my case, the pouring and drinking sounds are from Zapsplat, royalty free and lots of great sounds to choose from. I recommend you check them out. So what did you guys think of my first mock ad? Did you learn anything from this video? If you did or enjoyed it, please leave me a like. It will mean a lot. And to those of you who are professionals and could give me some advice, how was my first mock ad? Please leave some feedback for me down in the comments below. If you are interested in anything photography, video, or just want to watch my vlogs, I release a video once a week. I do it every week. I've been doing it consistently for six weeks now. I'm so happy for that. Uh, anyway, if you want to, just hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell. But only subscribe if you actually like my videos because if you don't, then why hit subscribe, right? <laughs> and again, thanks for watching my video. I hope I was able to help or impact you in a positive way today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Peace. I'm gonna grab this table right here. How convenient, Brandon, you have a table set standing outside of your 
door, huh? Yeah, look at that. 